In 2015, the Paris Agreement brought all nations together into a common cause to undertake ambitious efforts to combat climate change and adapt to its effects. Fossil fuels and non-renewable processes are finite and they cause extremely negative impact on our planet. If we continue on the path that our country and our world is on today, we're going to see more health issues, more air quality issues. We have to move away from fossil-based fuels and fossil-based chemicals. And then we look at the future. Contribution coming from modern bioenergy is much larger than solar and wind. We do need solar. We do need wind, but we also need bioenergy. Our numbers, our analysis show that without a substantial increase of modern bioenergy, we have no chance whatsoever to reach our climate targets. Biofuels are used to power vehicles and they are derived directly from plants, uh, agricultural residues, or even urban waste such as garbage. They are cheaper, they're sustainable and better for our environment, and they're a great source of fuel for automobiles. Oh, it's a global environmental leader. The majority of our biofuel comes from corn. Grambio is a 100% Brazilian biotech company that takes biological raw materials such as energy cane residues and converts them into materials. We specifically use as our raw material agricultural residues or varieties of agricultural crops that do not compete with food. Just like the oil refineries of today produce fuels, plastics and chemicals, the sustainable biorefineries the world needs can provide those same products, but with the net effect of removing carbon from the atmosphere instead of adding to it. While renewable electricity in the power sector is gaining share rapidly, further progress needs to be made in transport, buildings and industry. Bioenergy for transport, heating and other purposes can today be sustainably produced from a wide variety of sources. It can help restore degraded land and enhance food production. Agents like FAO, IEE, Bioenergy and IRINA agree that the sustainable management of bioeconomy is possible. It's exactly this need which led to the creation of the Biofuture Platform an alliance of countries dedicated to finding solutions and promote sustainable and low-carbon bioenergy and bioproducts. Biofuture platform provides a golden opportunity for the countries who are already member of this platform and it is the very reason why IEA has been supporting this platform from day one we can already feel a change. Since the Biofuture platform launched, several member countries have taken tremendously important steps. We've introduced new targets this year that will double the use of biofuels in the UK transport sector within 15 years. Innova Bio is one key example of a national policy that has been launched in the wake of the Biofuture platform. It takes experience from the US, California, and institutes what we hope will be a goal standard for policy in this space. Renova Bio is Brazil walking the talk. There can be no doubt about it. The biofuture we envisage is undoubtedly an answer to our present needs. But time is not on our side. We need to build this future now.